हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन सरफेस केमिस्ट्री पार्ट थर्टी इज ब्रॉट यू बाई एग्जाम फीयर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फीयर फ्रॉम एग्जाम द नेक्स्ट इज कोलाइड्स अराउंड अस सी मोस्ट ऑफ द सब्सटेंस वी सी अराउंड अस इज कोलाइड वी हैव टोल्ड यू ब्लड ब्लड इज कोलाइड यू सी द ब्लड कॉगुलेट्स राइट वेन यू हर्ट यूर सेल्फ द ब्लड ब्लड कॉगुलेट्स एंड क्लॉट्स एंड इट स्टॉप्स फ्रॉम फॉर द ब्लीडिंग सो ब्लड इज अ गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कोलाइड्स The food we eat, milk, butter, ice cream, fruit, juice, chili, cheese, jelly, mayonnaise, all these are my colloids. Ice cream, anything. I mean, most of the things we eat is colloid. The clothes we wear is a colloid. The wooden furniture is a colloid. The house where we stay, right, is made of cement, and the cement and the water mixture is a colloid actually. The insecticides, they are colloid. the newspaper we use the ink paper the ink paper everything is colloid the paint we use the paints to paint our house is a colloid the shaving cream is colloid the stones the gem stones are colloid if you talk about the sky the the first thing is the color of the sky is blue right and it's a little orange in the dawn and dusk time the early morning and late evening time why because my sky is colloid right it's colloid nothing but the dust particles uh, with water vapors they are suspended in air so i have dust and water that is my solids and little bit of liquid suspended in air they call aerosols they are colloids if you talk about the fog the fog the mist the rain everything is colloid A good example to show the the clouds are colloids. You see, as I told, colloids have the charged particles, right? So uh, adsorbed in this. So let's suppose this this cloud is positive charge, and there is another cloud that's a negative charge, right? Because the colloids can take any charge. It can take positive or negative charge depending on the scenarios. Now this positive and negative cloud will collide. What will happen? There will be thunder. Right, lightning, and also it will create rain. How? Because the moment they are colliding, the charge on the colloidal particle is gone. If the charge and the charge is responsible for the stability of the colloidal particle, collides. If the charge is gone, the collides are unstable, and then it will fall down as water. Correct. In fact, it is also possible to create artificial rain. What is done is to create artificial rain. the sand is electrified right or we have the salts which are elect uh, charged and that is thrown on these clouds using helicopters or some aeroplanes so these not helicopters in fact aeroplanes because helicopters won't fly that high aeroplanes are used to throw this charged particles on these clouds opposite charged particles so first they detect if there is a positive cloud positively charged cloud they will put some negative charged particles on this right they will uh, create electrified sand particles right they can create a positive charged sand particles they can create a negative charged sand particles also so first they will do to what they will find what is the charge on this cloud if it is positive charged cloud they will throw some negatively charged sand particles with this on this with this it will neutralize the cloud uh, charge and the water will fall correct so if we talk about the fog see what is fog in the large mass of air and it has dust particles air with some dust particles they are condensed or they are cooled below the dew point right what happens is the moisture from the air condenses on the surface of these particles and this forms droplet and this droplets are colloidal in nature and we call it fog or mist whatever you see right the fog and mist there are nothing but this dust particles right and on this dust particles you have this air condensed and you get the colloidal particle correct right? we talk about another colloidal particle soil soil is fertile right and this fertile soil are colloidal in nature please note the fertile soil are colloidal in nature in this fertile soil the humus act as protective colloids 
and due to this colloidal nature of the soil it adsorbs moisture from the surrounding from the air right we talk about delta formation delta formation where you have uh, the rivers meet the ocean right this is this is a river a lot of rivers and this is the ocean the blue one the big one is the ocean here you can see delta is formed why see river water is what river water is colloidal why river water is colloidal because river water has lot of particles in it lot of minerals and they are all small size right they have particles they have um, clay so there is the river water nothing but a colloidal solution of clay right and the sea water if you see sea water is what salty sea water has nacl nacl is nothing but electrolytes so sea water is having electrolytes right so a colloidal solution is meeting electrolyte what will happen the colloidal solution the colloidal particles that is clay will lose charge since it will lose charge it will settle down correct see the colloidal solution with the river water is coming in contact with sea water right this is the ocean they have they are salty water salty water means nacl nacl means electrolyte so this colloidal solution is meeting a electrolyte that will help in coagulation of this colloidal solution that is nothing but the sand will get deposited and this area is called delta where lot of fertile sand get deposited the soap again a good example of colloidal in our day to day life now let's talk about the application of colloids so colloids are used in various uh, industry application example electrical precipitation of smoke in this case colloids are used we get the impure air from this factory we want to make it little pure we use a uh, colloidal concept there purification of drinking water we use colloidal concepts there to create med medicines we use the concepts of colloids in fact most of the medicines are colloidal in, in nature for tanning tanning of leather we use the colloidal concepts for photographic plates and films again we do use the concepts of colloids in rubber industry we, we extensively use the colloids concept and to create industrial products for example cement paint we use the concepts of colloids let's start with the first one that is electrical precipitation of smoke see smoke is what smoke is a colloidal solution the smoke is this is smoke and this is nothing but colloid right it has dust carbon carbon uh, other particles in air smoke is nothing but a colloid of i can say gas sorry solid in gas my gas is my medium and solid is my colloidal particles carbon particles arsenic compound dust etc right that is my smoke that comes out of the factory correct so before this uh, smoke comes out of the factory it is good to purify it because this smoke is harmful Right? it has a lot of dust particles carbon particles it is not good for health so what we do is this is the input smoke or this is the smoke from the factory smoke from factory and this is the output smoke little purified version right so in this case the smoke is treated well, how it is done is there is high voltage current applied the and if you see the smoke is a colloid so this colloid that means there are particles in this and they have some charged right charged and because these charge only these colloids are stable right let, let me draw this this is my colloidal particle it has charge now when a high voltage is applied on this plate please note it's only one plate with the opposite charge we know see the factory emits smoke right so this smoke by experiment they can find out whether it's a positive charge or negative charge so let's suppose it's found that this smoke has the colloid particle which are positive charge so in that case we'll apply a high voltage of negative charge when high negative charge is applied in this scenario right what happens is these positive charge are sucked away by this negative high potential so this colloidal particles becomes chargeless and they settle down 
here the colloidal particles are what my colloidal particles are my dust my carbon my arsenic lot of things arsenic compounds so these compounds are harmful compounds they are my solid harmful compounds they settle down and with this you get little completely fresh air and that goes in air so what comes out actually is little fresh air not 100% fresh but actually all the solid particles it can settle down on this floor of this chamber understood so what the first thing is they find out what is the charge on this colloidal particles if it is negative charge they will put a positive high voltage charge on this if it is positive they will put a negative high voltage charge on this right the the concept here is similar to coagulation in fact this is the example of coagulation where we are trying to add a high current and we are trying to remove all the charge on the colloidal particle if we talk about the purification of water here also when the concepts of collides are used if you see water is also a colloidal solution it has all these particles that are suspended right so water is what water is my i can say solid in liquid uh, collides because it has all the solid particles which are impurities so in this what we do is we add alum alum so alum is added to this impure water which has all this suspended impurities so what alum does is alum is a very strong electrolyte it coagulate my suspended impurities right since it's a very strong electrolyte it will coagulate all the suspended impurities and all these will settle down right and with this the water will become little pure the next is the medicines as i told most of the medicines are colloidal in nature most of the medicines example if you see argyrol this is my silver sol this is my silver sol and this is used as eye lotion also lot of silver sol has come in the market which is used to treat cancer if you talk about the gold sol this is used for intramuscular injection intramuscular injection if you talk about the milk of magnesia you must have heard of uh, heard of this term milk of magnesia this milk of magnesia is nothing but a emulsion and this is used for stomach disorder so most of the medicines you will see around you is nothing but colloidal in nature if you talk about tanning of the leathers see the animal hides actually these are made from the animal skins if you talk about the animal hides or animal skins they are colloidal in nature right now what we do is again if the hide has a positive charge particles we'll soak this in a tannin that will be negative charge right and reverse way is also true if a hide is positive charge i'll soak in so in negative tannin if it is uh, hide is my negative charge then i'll soak this in positive tannin right again tannin is nothing but my again you can say electrolytes or uh, negative charge particles or positive charge particles right the moment you soak this what will happen in both case coagulation right if my positive charged hide is soaked in negative uh, ions it will coagulate if my negative charged hides is soaked in positive ions it will be a coagulation right so with this coagulation what will happen is this result in hardening of rubber because or hardening of leather actually because this leather animal hide which you get is not hard it's soft right the soft leather will not be of much use it has to be hardened so for this coagulation technique is used right chromium salt is used as tannin here 
ammonium salt. This is used as tannin. Okay, so tannin is nothing but hardening of leather. The original animal hides you see is very soft. There is of not much use. So, and that is a colloid. So if it is positive charge colloid, we use negative charge tannin. If it is a negative charge colloid, we use positive charge tannin. End of the day, the result is coagulation. With that, you get more hard leather, right? The next is the photographic plates. So let's talk about the photographic plates and film. See the photographic plates or the film, they are again prepared by coating an emulsion of light sensitive silver bromide. This is silver bromide and this is light sensitive, right? So we, you will coat this with a silver bromide in gelatin over glass plate. This is how we get this photographic plates. We talk about the rubber industry, right? We talk about the rubber industry is uh, dependent on latex. And latex is what? Latex is nothing but a colloidal solution. Colloidal sol of rubber particles. Right? And which are negative charge. Rubber is again obtained by the coagulation of latex. This latex, you coagulate this latex and you get rubber. Right? We talk about the industrial products. We talk about the soap and detergent also. Right? Soap, the whole function, soap is again a sol. Right? We have seen that it is colloid. And the way it works is all the concepts of colloid. So I'll not explain much into the soap and detergent because we have done this a lot in the previous few chapters. If you talk about the industrial product, here we see you talk about the paint, you talk about the, uh, the cements, the, the graphite lubricant which are used as a lubricant in the machines at a very high temperature because at very high temperature the normal lubricants will burn. So the graphite powder is used. The cement, in fact the rubber, the plastic, all these are my colloidal salts. Right, so colloids is a huge application in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.